in the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. For the Lord became obedient to death, death on a cross. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare for this most holy and sacred of all celebrations, let us pause calling to mind our sins. And so we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove, who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. For your sake, I bear insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme me, you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. Insult has broken my heart and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, Lord in, your in your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you lowly ones and be glad. For you who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer, answer me. me. Oh. 
Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who is called Judas, Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. From that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you the feet, the, to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at, what, at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for him, for, for that man, if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The great drama of the passion has begun. And there is a play between good and evil. And Judas will betray our Lord. He's got his 30 pieces of silver. And he told the people he will give them the sign of what he will do, which is a kiss. And this is a play between evil, betrayal, and seduction, and the fleet between the goodness of our Heavenly Father and His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And it becomes, comes together in the garden, and we know what takes place there. And it looks as if evil will win out, because our Lord is indeed taken. He is questioned. He is scourged horribly. He is crowned with a crown of thorns and beaten within an inch of His life. And then he has to carry the cross, his own cross, with the help of uh, Simon of Cyrenia, up the, 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 the way to the place where he will be crucified. But we know the rest of the story. Our Lord will die on the cross, but he will rise three days later for our salvation. Good always triumphs over evil. And for each and every one of us, we are constantly in that tug of war in this day and age. Because I tell you what, evil has grown stronger because of the weakness of many in our own country. And you and I have to continue to, to enter into this play, enter into this story of our redemption by continually telling people what is the truth, even though they do not want to hear it. We continue to be in the same tug of war as was happening even in our own Lord's time. And yet evil has a greater foothold in this day and age. And you and I have to continue to play our part in making sure that good is constantly on task 
good is constantly winning the day. So today, what took place so many years ago for our Lord and for Judas continues to play out in this day and age. And you and I have our own part to play in this so that it get, once again, even though it might seem like evil is winning the day, you and I do our part to make sure that our Lord's words are made known, that our Lord's goodness and actions are made known in this day and age, in this day and age, so that indeed what our Lord did for us so many years ago will again triumph again and again and again and again. This is our task, and it may seem insurmountable, but by the grace of God, by the food that we receive from the altar, you and I will be able to triumph over the evil that continues to be spread throughout the world and make his name known in a variety of ways, even to the end of our own life. Good will triumph because God has told us so, and you and I play our part in the passion that began so many years ago as it will play out again and again and again, and we are part of the play, and we have to do our part. By the grace of God, may we do what we need to do to make God's name known again and again and again in the world that is so in need of his love and his grace. Let us bring our petitions and our prayers to our Almighty Father. For church leaders, may they be blessed with the wisdom of the Holy Spirit in leading their flocks into the glorious Easter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God's voice be their guide in creating legislation that will serve the needs of the poor and the downtrodden in their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of natural disasters, may God's mercy provide them with avenues for shelter and food, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the people in the Ukraine, uh, and for those people that are suffering so unjustly at the hands of the Russians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those gathered here May the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those souls in purgatory who have no one to pray for them. We pray that may they soon see Christ face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We pray especially for Father Petusky for whom this Mass was offered, and for his brother Tom Petusky, who died recently. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those prayers offered for the Blessed Sacrament and adoration for our own private petitions we bring in silence at this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer the prayers of your people. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we receive this gift of bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have received this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O God, we pray, the offerings made here and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember you're also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles, our beloved patrons, 
St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and Blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let's offer to one another a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, Quit holes peccat. Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
our communion antiphon, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together our prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray to partake unceasingly in the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of rare rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to renewness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. You are the word of us today. Just a quick reminder, this is the last 7.30 a.m. Mass we have until Sunday. If you come tomorrow, the doors may be locked, alarm may be set, or you might be able to get into the chapel. Anyway, just know you get to sleep in the next two, three days. Mm -hmm.